Hey guys, it's Elise. Welcome back to my channel. And if you are new, then of course, thank you so much for stopping by. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a thrift store haul slash try on haul because I do want to try on a lot of these pieces for you guys so you guys can see how they fit on my body. I'm so excited to show you guys all the things that I got. I absolutely love thrifting. It's definitely one of the things that I like to do like when I'm a little bit stressed out. I just like to walk around in the thrift store. I debated whether I wanted to do this video or not because I always feel like thrift store hauls are difficult to kind of film because it's kind of like, yeah, I got all this stuff, but you, I mean, I can't guarantee that you're going to find anything even remotely close at your thrift store. All the thrift stores are obviously different. So it's kind of like, eh, I debated it, but I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to do it anyways, because I would like to see something like this. Anyways, you guys, I have some clothing and I also have some home things. So yes, I'm going to show you guys all of it and let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So I guess I'll start off with a couple of the home items that I got because honestly there weren't many and I'd rather just kind of breeze through this because I can't really try this on. So I'm going to show you guys the first thing that I got here I got this little frame actually it's not little it's definitely not little this is from the Goodwill I actually paid only four dollars for this big guy right here oh you can't even see it this is such a beautiful frame now I'm definitely looking to like redo my dresser area um, I want to make that a little bit more aesthetically pleasing I absolutely love this frame because it does have the black detail on the um, frame here but that was definitely the first home decor piece absolutely love it the next thing that I have here is this little like woven woven I forget I don't know if you say that woven or woven long oval basket right here this is definitely part of like that decor vision that I have I have a vision I'm hoping I can make it come to life I'm over here sounding like that so raven listen I have a vision okay I'm thinking of maybe filling this with some greenery or maybe some candles or doing something really really pretty I only paid a buck for this you gotta love this thrift store you guys like if you want to go to like Marshall's or home goods not that I'm knocking Marshall's or home goods because of course that's like my fourth home of course absolutely after Target and after the thrift store and after Ulta then comes home goods okay um you can definitely find pieces like this there but what I love about the thrift store is of course you get them for a dollar. The last piece that I got for the home were these coffee table books right here. I really want to do something with some coffee table books. I definitely don't know if I would have them like this. I'm hoping that maybe I can get some like bougie looking book covers for them. I've seen that like Etsy, they have some book covers that you can put over books like this. So I'm definitely interested to see if I could find any like designer looking like book covers or maybe I could make them myself. But I picked all of these up for a dollar. Pretty good price. Books like this are definitely very long lasting. Love these. If you're looking for coffee table books or anything similar go check out your thrift store I hope that these glasses aren't annoying you guys honestly they're definitely part of my look today so I just don't want to take them off I'm hoping that they're not blinding you guys but just bear with me okay I like them all right so when I went into the thrift store one of my goals or one of the things that I really wanted to find were some graphic tees didn't find them okay didn't find any graphic tees didn't get lucky there however the other thing that I wanted to find was some like really nice vintage kind of like old-timey mom looking jeans I know you guys know what I'm talking about because that's what most people go to the thrift store looking for I definitely wanted some like older denim that would be perfect to kind of either create some jeans now for the summer or maybe just create my own like ripped kind of like distressed jeans that I could use but I definitely wanted something very mom momish you know what I mean where like the crotch area is super long I'm gonna show you guys in a second but I picked these up actually right here and I actually got these from the men's section so maybe you can call them dad jeans maybe so these were $4.99 and these are actually branders like I said the reason that I do like to thrift these things is because as you guys can tell here the crotch area eek, I can't even show you the crotch area right here is super long and that's how you know you're gonna get a nice kind of like vintagey mom style fit where it's very high-waisted um, because the crotch is so long and it's not going to sit like right beneath your stomach or like give you a muffin top or it's definitely not going to disrespect you like that i'm not super crazy about the fit um they're a little bit tight on my booty so it makes my butt look a little bit flat so i don't really like that and the thing with these old style jeans is they have zero stretch you guys like no stretch at all so you get what you get um, that's the only thing that i don't love about them i think i can probably still kind of make them work because it's not too suffocating but what really sold me on these pair of jeans was the color you guys I'm such a sucker for a nice true blue denim I love this color of jean and honestly I almost feel like they don't sell them that much anymore like they don't make them like they used to at least the shade I have a vision for them I'm hoping I can make it work I'm hoping I can cut these and kind of like do it up or maybe I can kind of find a way to stretch them out I don't know let me know down below if you have any ideas of how to use stretch jeans like this if you can but so crazy about this next item this is a woven dockers 
purse you guys I saw so many little purses like this but this one was definitely the best quality one that I saw it wasn't too frayed up it wasn't too beat up and I absolutely am in love with this I can't see the price in here but honestly you guys I think I paid like $5.99 for it isn't this such a cute little bag like I already envisioned myself wearing this and like going to the beach with a nice little like beach hat or something like that this is so cute you can wear it like this which is probably how I would wear it or you could style it with the shoulder strap as well. Let's see if I was to get this even at like Walmart or find something like this, it's gonna be upwards of like $25. So I only pay $6 for this. Super happy with this find and I'm so excited about it. So next up, I picked up these cargo green pants right here. These were $4.99 and these are by the brand Covington and these were in a size 4, 100% cotton. They're really, really comfortable. I love these for days where you just want to be like slouchy but still really cute. I love the fit of them. I wish they were high-waisted but they're not. These are definitely kind of like a regular flared out but more of like a straight cut Kind of like bottom but what i love about these is this right here is a tie so that you can cinch this up if you want this to look a little bit more like skinny or have a little bit more of like a jogger type of feel where it's more cinched at the bottom i definitely love this little detail and that's what sold me on these pants all right guys so next up i picked up this little cardigan right here i really really love the fit of this cardigan and you can kind of throw these things over anything if your outfit includes a crop top or any shirt that's way too tight and you know you're about to go somewhere and eat these are going to be perfect to throw over because you can kind of just you know like do one of these where you throw them over you know and then after you eat you just do one of these like excuse me ain't nobody gotta know you got your gut hanging out nobody's gotta know that okay so next up I have this kind of like powder not even powder blue more of like a sage type of shirt I would definitely kind of like cinch it up at the waist a little bit and do one of those knots but I really really like it it's a really comfortable top and honestly I just think it would look great with the jeans that I have or even the skirt that I'm about to show you guys only paid a dollar fifty for this you couldn't beat it Definitely a slouchy little top and you cannot go wrong so I love this so this next piece I'm almost done you guys I promise so this is one of the pieces that I love the most from this whole entire haul I picked this little gem up this is just a button-down khaki skirt this skirt is from Gap I'm thinking I could wear it with like a tied crop top or maybe I can just tuck a really cute shirt underneath it and just wear it on a weekend honestly it's such a pretty skirt and you can wear it a vast amount of ways first I love this it's so pretty can't beat it I paid $2.50 for it one other thing that I love about it and it's so random but I love when skirts have belt holes in them because in case you want to like put a little belt with it that would just be so cute all right, I'm so excited about this piece and honestly, it's probably the reason you click this video because it's gonna be on the thumbnail So I'm just gonna cut to it. This thing is just beautiful. Honestly, this is such a pretty uh, little backpack I'm not a designer person. So take everything that I say when it comes to this with a grain of salt I'm pretty sure that it's fake though, but Ain't nobody gotta know that it ain't tricking if you got it and I got it for $7.99, but I got it. It's my business, not yours. So you guys, I love this, obviously, for many reasons. It's like that designer-ish type of look, thrift store budget, you know? I love this. I love that in the back, you can wear it kind of like this. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to do it because I'm going to ruin my hair. But you can wear it kind of like diagonal across your body. Or you could wear it like this. Or you can open this up and make it a backpack. I know it's a knockoff, but it's a really cute knockoff. So I love this. For the very last piece here, I have this leopard print sleeveless top. I got this at the Goodwill and I paid three good dollars for this. I love this top. It's definitely very comfy, kind of like a slouchy type of feel. And it has leopard print. And the thing with leopard print is it is making a comeback, especially this year. I've been seeing so many leopard print things. I think what I like about this more though is that it's kind of like a dark brown cheetah print. I feel like where it's more of like the true like cheetah licious, beige -ish cheetah print. I feel like that's when it takes me really back to my like high school, like Jersey Shore, cheetah print cheetah licious cheetah girls I feel like that's when it takes me back to those days this to me doesn't really scream that it's very cute and to me this is kind of like a more sophisticated kind of cheetah print you know I feel like you know I feel like you know you know you know I know you know so anyways you guys I love this shirt I could even wear this with that khaki skirt that I showed you guys earlier I think that would be super duper cute all right guys so that's going to wrap up my thrift store haul I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video I hope you found it helpful and I hope it gave you some ideas of what to look for on your next thrift store run like I said the thrift store is always a great place to find unique pieces that nobody else is gonna have I always feel like going on a thrift store run from time to time 
just really gives you a little bit of a touch that you can put on your wardrobe that nobody else has because it's going to give you these timeless unique pieces that you know nobody else has and that's just the beauty of it by the way quick bonus i'm going to be showing you guys the behind the scenes of me picking some of these items up at the actual thrift store however i will be showing you guys that on instagram it's going to be like an igtv video and so make sure that you are following me on instagram if you're interested in seeing some of the behind the scenes and some of the full-on kind of like style how i would wear these pieces because i am going to be showing you guys how to do that over on my Instagram. So of course, go check that out if you are interested. I wanna thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate each and every one of you for supporting and making it to the end. You guys are awesome, you're the real MVP. And if you just wanna keep on being an MVP, if you just wanna show up and show out, you know what you're gonna do? You're gonna go ahead and subscribe, okay? And then after you subscribe, you're gonna hit the little bell because it's gonna let you know every single time I'm uploading so you don't miss any content. You just don't wanna do that, okay? So yeah guys, that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.